Okay, hey, good morning, y'all. Good morning. What's up? Let's talk about it, okay? Because I got something to talk about. I know I want to get right into it. So, I'm coming to the realization that black people are the only type of people that will praise mistreatment of their own kind just because they don't like a person. Like, they will be so outraged at some point and then if it's a person that they don't like, <laughs> that's what they get. <laughs> when that person haven't done anything to them. They're the ones who are always like, oh, stand up for yourself. Don't be a pushover. Be strong. Be that standout person. Be the one that says what's on your mind. Um, you know, don't be that weak person that, um, that yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. When you know that something is wrong, you sit back and tuck your tail and don't say nothing. They're always the ones that say that. But when there's a person that is actually like that and for real, that type of person, and they come to say, oh, that person is this. Oh, that person is loud. Oh, that person is, um, they need to humble themselves. I don't understand why people have to be humble. I don't understand why if I work so hard, if I've spent so many hours, so much time, so much dedication into my profession, if I did that, why would I have to sit back and be humble about it? Because I don't think I should. If I put in the time and effort to be the best lawyer in any courtroom, I put in that time, I went to school, I spent my money, I, I spent countless of sleepless nights, I spent countless of um, not going out on the weekend, not hanging out, you know, sacrifice my free time when my friends are all hanging out and having a good time going to parties, meeting people, and all of that but I'm in the library I'm in the books I'm hitting the books and and you telling me that now that I've become this successful lawyer that I have to be humble humble myself no I don't have to humble myself no I'm not gonna humble myself because I worked hard to get to this place and ain't nobody gonna nobody sat there and assisted me in it so don't tell me to go and be humble no. If I'm the best, I'm the best. Like, if I'm good, I'm good. But if I'm great, I'm great. And you're going to know it. Like, I don't understand. Take that out. Take that humble stuff out because it's not fair to somebody who's actually put in the work. Don't tell me to be humble about my work because I work hard for it. And when I was working hard for it, nobody was telling me, um, Yo, you shouldn't be working that hard for it. Nobody was saying that. You know, not a lot of people will be sacrificed, giving up their time to sit in the study hall with you for hours and hours and hours and learn something and just try to force it into your brain so you can memorize it for the test that you got coming up. Like, people need to stop. Come on. So, when people say, oh, humble yourself, or, oh, this person needs to be humble, but why? Explain to me why do I have to be humble about it. If I went to beauty college and I worked hard at my craft and my skills to be the best, why would you not know that I'm the best? Why would I be quiet and humble about my skills? Why would I give you, you, okay, so you, 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 you come, okay, let's say this. I went to beauty school. I worked hard. I practiced hard. I've been doing this for years. Like, I've perfected my craft to the 
most that anybody can perfect it. Like I've perfected what I've done. I know how to do it in my sleep. So I built a brand about me being good at doing hair. So you come to me to get your hair done and you're paying $500 to get your hair done. And I say, you come to me because I know I'm the best. But, you know, people have been going in on me like, oh, she thinks she is good. Oh, she, she needs to humble herself. So you come to me, pay $500, and I give you a humble hairstyle. I don't put my best in it. I don't, I don't give you what I feel. I give you what people want me to be, which is humble about my craft. So I'm going to give you this humble little hairstyle. I'm a, you know, it's, it's coming from me. But I didn't feel like giving you what I feel. I'm giving you what people think I should be, which is humble about my craft. So you, you walk out of there and you didn't get to experience what other people experienced because people told me to be humble. But somebody who, but before I gave you everything, like your experience sitting in my chair was the best like top tier ain't nobody topping me you sat in my chair you left my chair feeling like you was queen for the day because i gave you my best i didn't give you no humble experience i gave you a great experience so when people tell somebody to, they need to humble themselves, they really need to think about what they're telling them to do and why. Why are you telling me to humble myself? So that leads to say, when Grammy nominations came out and everybody was upset because, no, before Grammy nominations came out, Nicki Minaj put out a thing that said, um, you know, whatever like they're trying to put my son in this category and it shouldn't be and if it should be i don't care that it's there but then all the other songs like it should be there as well and there was an article put out i didn't read the article I don't, no whatever saying that or i guess that's where it was supposed to go i don't know Nicki minaj has had a beef with the grammys for a long time and it's not a a secret um that they have overshadowed her work so when you when grammy nominations come out and you've put in the hard work and you've also a lot of people just this year alone like you've had an extremely successful year and you're not nominated for a grammy and people are like oh well she should have humbled herself but why why are you you I don't understand that like why would why do I have to lower myself to other people's standards or lick the bottom of somebody's boot just to for them to show just for them to award my work ethic like that's not that's not real like in the real world if I'm working in an office and I'm the best office manager or office assistant that there is. And they bring somebody else in. And you know, I've been there, haven't been late, haven't caused any problems in the office. I've been the backbone of the office. If I'm not there, the office don't operate correctly. If I'm not there, things don't run as smoothly. I can hear it the next day. Oh my God, you were missed. I hope everything is okay with you, but you were missed. Like the office was quiet. Things were messed up. Nothing was in order. So if I'm giving my all and someone comes in and they do a half-ass mediocre job, but everyone, but they get an award. Let's just say Maybe there's somebody in a higher power that doesn't gel with. We didn't have any conflict or anything like that, but we just not, 
we don't gel together. But that doesn't stop me from doing my job. I still do a hell of a good job because it's my job. So I don't let the fact that maybe me and this person, this person in upper management don't get along. We don't see eye to eye, but I've never disrespected this person. I've never uh, made to feel like you're not my boss or anything like that. I've never you know, made them feel that way or anything like that. There's never been anything, but they're just in their head, they're vindictive. In their head, they're gonna show their power. In their head, they're gonna show me who's boss and so when new people come in, new people are getting employee of the month, employee of the year. They're getting things and it's like, wait, what, why, what? I've been here, I've been helpful. I've been everything to this office. Why am I overlooked? So you start to question that. Are you not to question that? Are you just to sit back and say, no, you're not. No, you're going to question. After a while, you're going to be like, wait, what? what is really going on? And then you're going to start to, you, if it's not in you to do it, then you sit back and tuck your tail and you do your job. But everybody is not like that. Everybody is not the ones that are just going to sit back and say, um, <laughs> I mean, you, you, there's times I've been in, places in companies where they have awarded the person the new person that I've trained I gave them the tools and the keys how to be successful in this office I've trained them but I have never received an award all right and you know anything that shows you did great and that's because I'm not quiet I don't just let you know a manager or someone just can't come in and say anything to me and it'd be okay. And I take it like a grain of salt. No, I'm not, that's not me. So if I feel, if I see a problem or I think there's a problem, then I'm going to address it. And there's nothing wrong with addressing it because that's, that's what we have our voice for. I'm not going to cause a headache. It might be a headache to the person that's issuing out the treatment, but it's not a headache because somebody else could be going through the same thing and they're too scared to speak up. But because I'm the boisterous person that's going to speak up for myself, you're going to penalize me for it. And that's what y'all are telling her. Like, eh, nah, nanny, and it's the black people. Nah, nanny, you didn't get an award. You should have been quiet. You sound stupid. Like, stop sounding so stupid. Stop being dumb. What do you mean? You should have been quiet. They're the only fucking people that don't stand up for each other. And laugh when somebody is being mistreated. I don't get it. You guys need to get it together. Like, that's why people it's so easy for people to mistreat us and do certain things to us and not care. Because they already know, on with the next one. We can forget about it the next day. And especially if I don't like you, I am definitely ain't going to stand up for you. It don't make no sense. Whether you like me or not, right is right and wrong is wrong. And if I'm the one on the front line standing up for the wrong, just back me. You ain't got to be a part of my uh, fan club. Nobody is telling you to sign up for the fan club, be the leader of the fan club, start a fan club. No, just back me. Like, just have my back. That's all it is. We have to have each other's back. And it doesn't matter in personal life what goes on in the personal life my personal life is something totally different like if you're telling me oh you know i'm not a good person 
or something like that my personality let's just say my personality because your personal life can draw into your professional life but just let's say my personality my personality may not be something that you gel with or something that you may not get with like oh you might say i don't like working with women but if i have to work with a woman I'm not going to be at her neck about everything. I'm not going to disrespect her. Like, I know I have to work with her, so it is what it is. I have to work with you. We have to get along to succeed in our job. So, we do what we got to do. We do what we got to do to get along because that's what it is. And I said, I don't like to work with women. I'm speaking hypothetically in all of this. Like, none of this is only the part where, you know, I've seen people be overlooked for certain things that they should have gotten a promotion or they should have gotten, you know, some type of award or an accomplishment for what they've done in the office. I've seen that. Yes. But people, I think because celebrities... The world is all visual now. So celebrities, um, at first celebrities were like, you couldn't reach them. Like you could not, um, you didn't have access to them. But now with social media, you have more access to um, celebrities and a glimpse inside of their private life. So you kind of pick up more on personalities and things like that. Like you can pick up on a person's personality and you know, how they are or like the type of person they are or something like that. But that doesn't mean that you know them because you haven't hung out with them. You haven't been in close spaces with them. If you guys know, social media is a glimpse into someone's life. And everything is about publicity. Good, bad, or indifferent. If you're talking about me, you're talking about me. And I could take it. But we have to, like, really stand up for each other. Like, really stand up for each other. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Stop jumping down somebody's throat just because you don't like them. You don't like their personality or what they, the glimpse that they show you on social media. So now you jumping on the bandwagon of you don't deserve it. But why? Why are they allowed to say that I don't deserve it when I've given my all? And someone who's come in and haven't given as much as me, just not even that much of me is being rewarded and praised. But because the majorities up top don't like me, I'm supposed to just swallow it and take it to the neck. We got to do better, people. And that's all I got to say about that. Peace, love, blessings to you. And we is not getting Donald Trump in here again, so let's cut that out.